Okay, here we are at the auto auction, and we're looking at a 2014 BMW 320D. Yes, this is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder diesel engine. And this is designed for the Thai market, so the steering wheel is going to be over on the right hand side. And let's kind of take a look at what we have here. Now, often the uh, emissions regulations in Thailand are very lax compared to other parts of the world. So, I apparently do have my particulate filter. So, you'll notice that I have the, I actually have a fuel line. And uh, what I'm going to do is I can spray some diesel fuel there. I have a temperature sensor and an oxygen type of oxygen sensors, I, I should say, to kind of help me monitor the regeneration of my particulate filter. So this is going to keep my diesel particulates very, very low. Adds to the complexity, obviously, of the vehicle. Let's take a look here. This is the turbocharger. And uh, one thing is very important about Thailand, and let's go ahead and back up and take a look at that just for a moment. This is the air cleaner. And in Thailand, we have a lot of water, yes, a monsoon season that is going to be an annual event. So the streets are going to flood numerous times there during the course of the year. So you want to make sure that your air cleaner and air intake are high relative to the rest of the vehicle so that the vehicle can safely forward through water. And of course, obviously, a vehicle manufacturer is not going to tell you that their car safely forwards. But uh, here, you're going to be driving this car almost up to the wheel well quite often in the streets of Bangkok, Thailand. So let's take a look. Here from the air cleaner, we're going to enter our compressor section of our turbocharger and here we see the wastegate actuator so I have my wastegate actuator and there I'm going to leave the uh, compressor section and go through the after cooler which is a type of radiator here in front of the radiator down low in the vehicle and then we're going to come up to our throttle body now this is a diesel engine but I do have a throttle valve and here we're going to enter the intake manifold and this is a diesel engine so it's common rail diesel i have a high pressure fuel rail with individual electrically controlled pzo injectors that are going to inject fuel directly into the cylinder and of course that pressure is going to be several thousand psi so i get good atomization and obviously have to clearly overcome the temperatures and pressures of the combustion process all right there's our alternator hiding there high in the engine compartment here's my fuse relay center now, on many BMWs, the actual battery is hiding back there in the trunk. But here I have an access for jump starting, and obviously they've been using it fairly frequently here at the auto auction. Here's my pressurized coolant reservoir. There we see our washer fluid. Now, diesel engines are very popular here in Thailand. So you'll see a lot of vehicles with the diesel engine. Now, this is obviously a used car. It's coming in at 2014. So uh, it's uh, about eight years old now. This is 2022. And uh, the seat definitely has some wear. Steering wheel is in reasonably good condition. And of course, I would say that BMW steering wheels usually hold up pretty well. Our buttons are very dirty and the car really wasn't properly detailed, so they should have been more careful. Here's my start-stop, and I have the automatic start-stop in traffic, which I can turn off. And a lot of people don't like that engine stopping right there in the middle of the dense traffic. They want to keep the engine running so they can disable that feature. Steering wheel's on the right-hand side. Well, that's what we do here in Thailand. And here we have a conventional layout for the BMW. 
here we see my little temperature dial so that I can dial in the um, uh, uh, warm or cold. One thing I noticed though is that in Thailand very seldom if ever would you ever select heat that you're going to be desiring air conditioning here all the time. Now this is actually the electronic shifter and I have the um, uh, uh, and the ZF6HP transmission. I do have a specific solenoid that's going to um, uh, control the hydraulic movement and then lock the um, uh, valve that controls the parking pole into its release position. And then of course when I select the gear I'm actually controlling the uh, actual gear selection electronically via solenoids there in the valve body. So I really don't have a manual valve. This is all electronic, all electronic. And some BMWs will have the shift paddles. I don't have the shift paddles on this one. I have to use this. If I want to go manual, I can bump up and bump down. So there we go. So this is a basic BMW. Uh, I'm going to uh, say that possibly the person that owned this vehicle before uh, was a smoker because it does smell kind of strong, but uh, otherwise it seems to be in pretty good shape.